Welcome to M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss the eyes of the puck. Now, you may have heard this term used before when referring to goal scoring and, and shooting opportunities, so we just want to elaborate on it a little bit today so that players can really understand the concept of, of what it is and why it's actually important in game applications. So the eyes of the puck refer to the vision of the actual puck to the opening you're, you're shooting for. So in this case, if I'm shooting top right, I would basically draw a line straight from this puck to the top right of the net. And those would be what we call the eyes of the puck. Now, the, the reason that's important is because that's a much different view than I'm getting six foot plus above the ice from my actual eyes. So we always want to think about when I'm here, just because I see an opening here, doesn't necessarily mean that there's any way for this puck to actually travel directly to that spot before getting blocked. So for example, if you have a goaltender, maybe he's got his glove up a little bit here, right, from six feet out, from six feet up, I might see this little tiny opening right here, but the reality is, is depending on where this goaltender's at, if he's, if he's out a little bit, the eyes of the puck may actually hit his glove every time if I'm actually going to hit the target. And this is where shooters go wrong a lot, is that they visually, they see an opening and they think they have it, and then they shoot high and wide or, or just wide or they're, they're not accurate because they're not seeing from the eyes of the puck. They're seeing from what they see. They say, well, coach, I saw an opening. Well, that opening might be there from this vantage point, but the opening probably isn't there from this vantage point. So you have to really understand and kind of start to think from the puck perspective, visually draw a line from this puck to wherever you want to shoot on that net. And that's going to be what the eyes of the puck are. So it's important to understand just in terms of how this puck can actually travel to our target versus what we actually see. And understand those differences. And when you shoot, try to shoot mentally from the eyes of the puck. Hope you find these tips helpful. We'll see you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.